Well, we woke up this morning to quite a bit of some cloud cover as well as maybe even some patchy fog out in locations. But as the day went through, we saw a little bit more sunshine and an absolutely gorgeous afternoon for us. Temperatures only reaching 84 degrees this afternoon. Now we're seeing around 73 degrees right now, at least in Winston Salem. Heading into tomorrow morning, things are going to kind of cool off a little bit into the morning hour. 66 to kick off the day, 81 degrees around lunchtime. A lot of sunshine for us for the end of the weekend. A great day to get outside, enjoy it, soak up as much as possible. We're even going to be in the mid 80s again tomorrow, so still feeling pretty comfortable overall. And then we get to tomorrow evening and it's going to be pretty nice there as well. I mentioned getting outside. Well, music for a Sunday evening in a par in the park at six o'clock. You're looking at temperatures right around 84 degrees with plenty of sunshine. Plus you get to see Fox 8's Katie Nordine. As far as how much rainfall we've seen over the last uh, six days or so, well, we're looking at anywhere from two inches in some locations like portions of Surrey County to places like Davie County, maybe only picking up a little over an inch. And then you have places like Guilford County, Alamance County seeing over six inches of rain in the last six days. A lot of rainfall, very saturated ground overall. And we get to do all over again this week. Not quite as much rain as we saw last week, but we do have at least Monday and Tuesday with some pretty decent chances for some rainfall there. It starts off Monday morning, 9 a.m. We see a round of some rain, even some possibilities for some thunder moving in. We'll see a little bit of a break in the afternoon before another round through the evening moves in once we get to about that 5, 6 o'clock hour. We see things kind of quiet down overnight Monday, but then we start to see things pick right back up heading into Tuesday. We're looking at about a 50 percent chance for those showers and thunderstorms into Tuesday as well. We're also looking at the potential for some isolated flooding in spots on Monday. We're looking mainly at that potential off into portions of the mountains and the foothills. And then the further east you are, kind of the more that chance decreases. But because of how much rain we've seen over the last week, the ground is very waterlogged right now, so it's not going to take as much rain for us to see that possibility for some flooding. Once we get to Tuesday, while that chance isn't nearly as high, we still now have everybody in that marginal risk for some excessive rainfall there. And as far as how much rain we're talking, about one to two additional inches over the next seven days. Although right now it looks like the bulk of that rain is going to be falling Monday and Tuesday with some lingering showers still possible through the rest of the week. But the better chance again is going to be at the start of the week. Here's what the next seven days look like. Again, enjoy Sunday. We're in the mid 80s, lots of sunshine. Monday, Tuesday, that 40 to 50 percent chance for those showers and thunderstorms. We're still in the 80s, but once we get to the second half of the week, our temperatures start to climb. We're back in the low 90s by Thursday.